Hi guys, my name is Sierra and I'm a hoofstock keeper here at Tanganyika Wildlife Park. And with me today is Betty Boop. Betty Boop is a common warthog. So there's two different species of warthog. There are desert warthog and common warthog. <laughs> Betty here is actually an ambassador at the park. So she was born here and we actually ended up having to hand rear her. Her mom didn't take the best care of her. But now she loves people. She loves being around us. And she actually walks on a harness throughout the park. She can walk down the aisle at weddings. She goes to different events, birthday parties, all kinds of stuff. She loves being around people and she loves her belly being rubbed, as you can see. So warthogs are found all throughout Africa. These guys are not currently listed as endangered. They're doing pretty well, which is super exciting. Um, these guys are pretty cool. So they will actually find old aardvark dens and back themselves into it to where their tusks are sitting out. You can kind of see Betty's tusks there. That way, if anything tries to attack them while they're asleep, they can have their defense mechanism right there ready to go at the front of the aardvark dens. These guys are mostly herbivores. They do eat some insects, um, but they're mostly gonna feed on plants and roots and grasses. You can see that big nose that Betty has. They'll use that as a shovel to get the roots up in different grasses. Um, so pigs are really smart. Um, I may be biased, but Betty's the smartest pig ever. She knows all kinds of behaviors, so she knows to touch her nose to what we call a target stick, and we can use it to guide her anywhere we need her. She knows how to back up. She knows how to sit on cue, stay, even lay down. Obviously, that one's the hardest to get her to do. She's even trained for injections and voluntary blood draws, which is super good for Betty's husbandry and taking the best care of her since it's all voluntary. Um, she trusts us to get it done for her. Um, so since Betty was hand reared, she does live by herself. She doesn't really know how to communicate with other pigs, and we don't have any other warthogs at the park. Um, so we are kind of her warthog friends. Uh, Betty chooses people over pigs usually. So she does live by herself, but we train with her twice a day, if not more than that. She goes on weekly walks. So she gets lots of socialization through us rather than other pigs. So Betty here is 200 pounds. Um, she is harness trained to walk on a harness, but it does take two of us and she is so strong. This is pure muscle, even if people say otherwise. Um, yeah. So warthogs are a prey species and they can actually run 30 miles an hour. So those little legs can actually book it pretty fast and their tail will go straight up in the air uh, when they're running away. And you can see Betty has this nice luscious locks here. Way to show it off, Betty. Um, this hair actually protects their back from sunburn or bug bites. Um, so it, even though it's gorgeous, it actually also serves a nice purpose too. We have tried to debride it. It does not stay, unfortunately. And now she's just rubbing her butt on me. So warthogs and especially Betty love mud baths. So these guys will roll around in the mud to cake over their skin to act like a lotion or a sunscreen. And Betty loves a good mud wallow. She likes even some showers sometimes with the water hose. <laughs> Betty loves it. I like, I'm not biased or anything. I'm Betty's favorite and it's just the facts. Ask anyone around here. I can definitely tell <laughs> by your interaction. <laughs> Betty loves me. Betty, Betty is very picky about her people. Um, so it, it takes a lot of trust building with Betty to get to where you can do stuff like this with her or even walk her on the harness. Um, it takes a lot of trust building, a lot of relationship building. And we, we do that by like feeding with feeding her, interacting with her, petting her just like this, like through the fence to start. And just building up that interaction. Pigs, pigs do have like a hierarchy. Um, and you know, they're really smart. So they, they can tell the difference between people. And, and so you have to really work hard to build a good relationship with, with all pigs usually. If, if you guys liked what you saw, if you're Betty's next number one fan, go ahead and like